D80 feet high either. It's very high. Phil's gonna look at Lilith. <laughs> Would you want to go for a climb? We can get up there. I think, uh... I think Dracon, Tiger, yeah. I mean, Dracon, Matthias, and, uh, Grath look at you and say, we can climb. That's five of us up there. Grath climbed well. I mean, I and can climb. Fly. And I pipe in just, I'm a little bit limited on that front. Can't you alter self? Uh, Alter Self doesn't allow you to fly. It uh, allows you to breathe underwater, but not fly. I thought it gave you a climbing speed, too. Can it? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it does. I will. In the meantime, I'll look that up, you guys. Read the spell. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Brad oh. could carry uh, Noctris. Could pull you up with him. He is not particularly handy. Hentai could also climb the surface relatively easily. He has suction cups. And he can cast fly on someone. Which would probably be you, since you have no climbing speed. In my experience with hunting, it's always best to come at your opponents in a place that they would never expect. Roof the roof. Middle of the day. Middle of the day, on the roof. It like also... Gives us an opportunity to spectate before going yeah. in. It would be easily spotted, but we get some time to do a quick little reconnaissance, figure out what it's going to be like, restock our stuff, and then climb up the side of the building. I mean, we already have people who know their patrols looking at Kander and the crew. Kander, the crew, the guard girl, and uh, Noctris got a good little walk around. Oh, yeah. Um, also, Alt herself cannot give me a climbing speed, only a swimming speed. Although, Fel doesn't need his hands to climb. Fel and I can literally run up the side of the wall, and Fel has a belt that makes him incredibly strong. Fel could carry an uh, What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> All due respect. I'm trying to picture this. What the actual <laughs> fuck are you Can't talking I could about? Just... <laughs> Suction cup his way up. Fell it's not Chris. I can literally just run up the wall. It's not Fine. Chris just gonna sit on Amongst chest as they run straight up in like an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> or Flint could carry her as he flies up. <sighs> I'm I'm imagining one of those. Uh, those I, mechanical chairs that goes up the stairs now. I, <laughs> Brian has the strength. <laughs> and I assume Tiger, Grath, and Dracon all need their hands because they can't just run up a fucking wall like a ninja like me and Brian. Yeah, you guys will just sprint up the walls while we have to, like, you know, take our... I'll have to take my clothes and just go chunk, chunk, chunk. Yeah. Climb. So, you know, it'd be easier if Fel carried not. I mean, that's literally, besides being the ranger, that's literally the other part that lets me... Yeah, you're a keto. With all due respect to Lilith, I don't know or trust him enough to do that. But if he gives you a reason to doubt him, you can always just drop him. Oh, you guys are so <laughs> lovely. So, Fine. we're at Joy, aren't we, Noctris? Is that where he clings to Matthias's back? Either one. Or, I have said this, Flint ca carries them up with him when he flies. Okay, so... I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not really sure on this. I didn't read the whole thing, but just on technicalities. Uh, theoretically, the monk can gain the ability to move along vertical surfaces and across liquids on his turn without falling during their move. Uh, doesn't necessarily give them a climbing speed, so it would still be a very... Uh, they would be using their hands, I believe. Oh, and movement speed would probably be halved from carrying someone. Yeah. I assume we could just walk up 
I mean, it's yeah. A vertical wall. Uh, the arc you can walk up, but you don't have climbing speed, which means there's a test involved. Probably athletics if you're carrying someone. But we can. But it says without falling. Yeah, you're not gonna fall, but the person you're carrying. If you're might carrying fall. someone. It's different. You're encumbered by their weight, so it would be a check. Yeah, there would be a check involved uh, on top of that, but. You guys are kind of awesome at this point, so I, 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 I don't, I, I see no way this can go wrong. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so, are you guys taking a long rest then, for the night? Well, the Dark Brotherhood's stronger at night, so we kind of probably should. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Besides that, we got really, really wrecked. No offense. <laughs> and you need to get attuned to that sword. It does. So, uh... First things first. You are in sort of a hostile city where... Well, not hostile city, but you, you, can't, you guys are wanted, so to speak. And you can't just go out into the streets willy-nilly. So... How are you gonna go and do food? Actually, I meant to ask, am I included in those posters? No. Okay. No, you just joined up. You also haven't been terrorizing the Dark Brotherhood for a couple weeks. Yeah. I also never show my actual face, really, so... Uh, so no, there's no posters... Well, there aren't any posters of you that the two persons that saw the poster are aware of. There's no one that mentions any not We have rations. Okay, so all of you are taking your rations then? Yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I think it's gonna them. be a ration. Okay. Uh, which is ironic, because the only time you, you have used rations is when you're in a city, so go figure. Yeah, because we can just get food out in the wilderness. Yeah, you can. Not today. Not this time around, because there's no wilderness to be had, and no food to be bought. So, I, I just imagine this conversation happening with the rations. This tastes like chicken. This tastes like beef. Yeah. Moi swap? Yes. I'm gonna make sure to feed Safira as well. Uh, make an animal handling check, Phil. Alright. Safira, she is... Eh, she is not a huge fan of rations and you have run out of uh, fresh critters to feed her. She, she she seems to kind of run to your other shoulder whenever you try to feed her rations. But uh, after a while, she concedes. And uh, Link tries to see if there's any rats around in the tunnel. Yeah, her own yeah. hunger gives in at this point. Yeah, she gives in to hunger, but she's not she's not a fan of rations in the least. She it, it, she eats it a little bit, kind of spits it out. But it shudders and then goes back and takes another nibble. She seems to be eating very begrudgingly. She, it's not a fan of rations. Hey, guys. Do you, have you seen any rats nearby? I imagine there may have been some in the tunnels. Uh, Not really, as it would hap uh, as it happened. Because, it's really fucking cold. Yeah, it's very cold. Uh, there's no wildlife to be had nearby that you have seen. Uh, no rats in the tunnels. So, uh, the night goes by, all of you... Uh, uh, don't fly away notes, I need you. Uh, the night goes by, all of you converse talk, discuss things, uh, make plans, talk with Loza, the eat your rations, tend to the, to the, to the, to the captive you have, the hostage, uh, Lucille, and you plan a little bit on how you're gonna get into the keep next time around, whenever that may happen. So everyone go ahead and uh, gain the benefits of a long rest. Uh, none of you guys get anything else, I don't think. 
We're not keeping... Just get everything back on your long rest. Yeah, you're, we're not tracking experience anymore, so there's no experience to be gained. Uh, however, during the night, uh, you are in a very cramped place, you would notice. Uh, uh, Kander going off to the corner and doing drugs, as he does. As all of you are being cramped in, in, in this ear corner. I hope you're gonna stop that when, it's, when this is over, Kander. He nods to you and says, When it's over, yes. For now it is. Good, you know what happens when people taste their own supply. Believe me, I'm not doing this out of pleasure, but out of necessity. And I don't believe anyone tries to stop him. He's not my, you know, teacher. I'm trusting his judgment right now. Draco I'm just gonna keep glare shaking. Um. It's a very judgmental glare, Lilith, and he seems to take notice, but he's addicted. He gives in to it. Takes a dose for himself and turns off to the corner and goes to sleep, as does everyone else, unless there is something you guys want to try and achieve during the night. While you can, because I have a few hours to kill. Grath would like to finish carving Summerled's star in case we cross paths again. That uh, he could give it to him. Sure. Um, I'm gonna ask Nodris to be as a pen I can borrow. Uh, um, ask who? Nodris to be as a pen or quill I can borrow. I don't think I do have one. Yeah, I Graf. don't. Wrath does, but be sure to give it back. I will. Mine broke while drawing pictures. And I'm just going to finish writing the book. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well. Hey, Doug. Yes. Can I examine that strange coin that I got? Uh... Sure. Make a Arcana check, Matthias. Flint has things. Drake can make an intelligence check to write in the book. Graph make a wood carving check with a uh, dexterity. Come on! Rip! <laughs> oh my gosh! That's two Drake natural it. ones Let's today. Go. Lovely. I can't get anything done. Uh, Wrath not good either. It's too uh, cramped in here. Draken, you not so much don't know what you write or can't write, but it's more so that you most of your inkwell has been squandered when you decided to finger paint on the walls, and there's very little remaining, and whatever little is remaining has dried off and froze pretty much so as you try to poke at it with your quill you can't get any ink on it to write down in your book and for the night you content yourself with just rereading what you have been through before but no progress is done in your book unfortunately graph uh it is cramped there's a lack of light and um you're just not able to work at all but you do keep in the back of your mind thinking about Summerled and maybe will you ever see him again? Because you're going against something very big and very powerful, so you keep thinking of... Yes. And Flint has packs. What's gonna become of the outcome? Indeed. Uh, Matthias, as you look over at this coin that Summerled gave you, you, you feel a little aura of positive energy coming from it being 
and somewhat attuned to the uh, to the druidic magic. You you feel there's an enchantment on this coin, but you're not entirely able to tell what it is. But you get the sense that there's some magical essence, of positive energy in this coin. I might uh base. I might poke somebody about that. It would either be me or Flint, but Flint currently has the pole. I mean, you never asked for it back, so I'm holding on to it for now. If that's the case, I might ask Flint later, <laughs> after we rest. Alright. I mean, you can ask him now, he does this as a ritual. I mean, I can ask him. Uh, if you want to come and ask me, I'm just tinkering. Short list in the next room, probably. There's no next room. There's the only one room. Oh, There's this wow. room. Yeah, it's... And the dirt tunnel we crawled through. And Flint is naked. Well, not naked. He's just shirtless. Well... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'd go to Flint and I'd go, <clears throat> Flint, I was given this uh, coin from Snorlad when we where when we last met um my question is it seems like it's giving off an aura would you mind taking a look oh yeah sure and you see him put down one of the swords you recognize as uh, groths it has a little bit of cream tech on it now and gives off a slight aura and then he'll take the coin from you and uh sit down for the next 10 minutes with the pearl doing his <clears throat> tricorder thing okay so flint it takes you those 10 minutes to to identify this coin meanwhile matthias it freaks you the heck the heck out to see everyone huddled and shuddering a little bit with all the cold that everyone is experiencing and yet flint is shirtless I would also like to point out someone okay. could put up a tiny hut and have it climate controlled. Yeah. Okay, I'm confused. Why are you shirtless? It's like freezing. Oh, yeah, you know that ring we bought back in the other town? <clears throat> and then Flint is going to hold up his hand with the ring. Yeah, I, I don't feel much cold anymore. Is that an engagement ring? I mean, it can uh, be, but it's really not. Pretty powerful magic. Says the guy who gave his boyfriend the family heirloom. Get, get uh, I mean, is the sword an engagement ring? Engagement sword. <laughs> Draco, I'm gonna cover himself with a blanket and hide. <laughs> uh, Matthias, as you ponder about all these magical shenanigans going on, Flint not freezing, despite being shirtless because of a ring, apparently. Uh, Flint, you finish uh, examining the ring. It seems like as a parting gift, Summerlad left behind a little enchantment to protect you. Uh, well, protect the party while he's absent, and uh, this is a coin of Revivify. Oh shit, alright. Um, so if any of us drop dead, we can do that magic that Summerled did and then be not dead? Is this an attunement item? Uh, no, it's an item you have to use, but you uh, to cast Revivify, but you don't need to offer material components. Oh, good. That way we can just grab it off the person who has it if they happen to be the one who died. Yeah. Um, do I want to ask, so for selecting my spells and stuff, if I cast a hut now, but I change my spell so I don't have the hut tomorrow, does um, the hut... What's your domain again? Twilight. It's a. It's just one of my domain spells. 
Uh, anything that you cast. Domain in... spells you have 24 7. You can't uh... switch out domain spells. Okay. Yeah, and uh, at the end of the long rest, you do recover all your spell slots. So. You can't cast it before. Oh, okay. okay. But Tiny Hut is a ritual spell anyway. Yeah. No, that's not why I wasn't asking for slot purposes. It was more yeah, so, so picking spells, uh, but that's this, you guys uh, are right about point, it. Is it a one-time use item? Then I'm guessing. Yes, it is a one-time use, but you don't have to supply material components. It's not an attunement. You just have to go and use it. Yeah, this coin is like those potions we drink all the time. You use it, and then it's just gone. Well, if we need it in an emergency, I guess that's good. And I'll pocket the coin and keep it with me. And since no one is asking for the pearl back, I'm just gonna put it back in my pocket. You do so, Flint. And no, no one's the wiser. So I'm gonna heed the request for a hut. Uh, sure. You conjure up the tiny hut in this tiny house, and uh, it's warmer, much, m much warmer than a. Uh, than the house itself and definitely much warmer than it must be on the outside and nobody's opening the door or uh, going down the tunnel in the least to, to check how things are and uh, the, in the end of the night most of you grow incredibly bored of watching these three guys play the same card games over and over and over but they seem content with whatever job it is that they are doing of keeping... After my tinkering, can I go join them in some cards? Sure, you do. Don't bet the pearl. Are they playing three dragon anti by any chance? Uh, yes. Perfect. Which is nonsensical in a world without dragons, but that's what the game is called. I mean, there can be things named after dragons, but, you know... I learned how to play that while I was... Dragons in our world. Uh, true, true that. Uh, but yeah, they are playing, they're not betting, they're just playing for... Well, to pass the time and you, you get the sense that they are... Uh, they're sort of fooling around with the game. They, they, they seem to be playing by... Uh, they, they do seem to be playing Tree Dragon Anti, but it feels odd. To a degree. Ah, it's so, like Texas Hold'em. No, it just so, it, it just feels like they're breaking some rules on purpose. They're playing the game, but they're not really playing the game. Yeah. Uh, it's homebrew. <laughs> it's homebrew. Well, Flint would like to still play with them, because he knows three dragon anti. Sure. Uh... You do go ask to play with them, I suppose. Yep, just walk up to them, haven't put my shirt back on, and plop down in any empty space there is, and hey, fill me in. The the three men look at you. They look at one another, nod, deal the cards, and uh, they start playing with you. Are you betting for anything, or just playing for for, for kicks? Well, I see these guys are playing for kicks, and the situation around is pretty dire. I probably don't want to steal their shit. Yeah. They're dead. Uh, actually, I would, I, I would try to learn this weird way they're playing. All right. Uh, and while that is going on, there's strip poker going on inside the hut. No. <laughs> no, but that would be his luck. Uh, Bella is apparently trying to offer Sephira to Lilith for her to hold, if I read that correctly. Uh, Flint, make an intelligence check as you play. I am proficient with three dragon anti, so I'm going to set my query to intelligence. Uh, you're not making a, a three dragon anti roll, you're making just a straight intelligence roll. Oh, straight intelligence. That is not as good. Because they're not playing the game that you are proficient with. They're playing something else, to a degree. I think I still got it, though. <clears throat> uh, so do I need to roll animal handling for trying to hold Sephira? I did not even see what you guys are doing, but uh, 
Yes, make me an animal handling check. Uh, Fel, what are you doing? I'm handing her, Sephira. Alright. I got a 14. Uh, two things. Sephira has been around you all uh, since she hatched. She's familiar enough to a degree with most of you. Uh, but as soon as uh, Fel uh, hands her over to you, you see Sephira a little bit more curious than usual. She seems to be uh, looking around you and trying to uh, uh, sort of claw at your clothes and try to dig in as if she's seen looking for something. Uh, the both of you get the sense that she's looking around your person for food. Like All I've got is rations. Good food, not rations. All I've got is rations, little girl. I'm sorry. Oh, so, so, so if you're uh, keeps uh, walking around you, she's not being forceful or uh, she's not uh, hurting you in any way, but she seems very uh, determined to see if you have any food, and she kind of just walks around you, uh, regarding you as a friend. Otherwise, she wouldn't be doing this as freely and as uh, haphazardly as she is. Flint, you haven't been around Draken for as long as you have, that crazy, that crazy old knave. You notice that they seem to be, <clears throat> the way that they are playing, or were playing to a degree, uh, these three men seem to be talking to one another using the cards. You have seen these, no you have not seen this before uh it was low of that side yeah uh both and dracon who are not doing anything with that yeah they seem to be passing back and forth messages using using the cards and some uh game shenanigans you can't really discern the message itself since you don't know thieves can't but yeah they seem to be I've... they seem to be Breath is watching and i do Okay, Graf. <clears throat> they are gossiping about all all of you, discussing who you are, what you are capable of. One of them, uh, the way he places the cards, seems to point at the some wanted posters and the fact that all of you are worth a pretty penny, more than they would make with uh, smuggling drugs in and out. And Do they look like they're going to report us? No, but they seem interested in the in the possibility. They seem to be considering it, but considering it as in it's a possibility, not something we would do right now. In with them right here, we we would screw ourselves over. But that is a good point to consider, and they seem to be conversing with one another about that possibility. Grath just watches for the moment and sees what else they say. Uh, they don't seem to... to discuss much else. That was what you were able to observe before they started playing with Flint. Uh, okay. After Flint sat down, they started changing what they were saying to things like uh, telling one another what cards they have uh, without actually saying just by the way they play the cards, they are conversing themselves and sort of treat the dragon anti is sort of a game you play against everyone else, but all three of them seem to be ganging up against Flint to kick him out of the game as soon as they as as they can, that's how the three of them can keep playing together. And Flint has to wait until the next round to uh, uh, draw in again. Okay. Yeah, these newfangled rules you guys are using, I'm not used to playing like this. You will get the hang of it. It's not too hard. Oh, just just hang around for a little while longer, and well, you you will get the hang of it. It makes sense after a while. It's hard to explain. The king is high unless it's on Tuesday after 4 p.m. where it's low, and the ace is equal. <laughs> ace yeah. is equal to the hypotenuse of the triangle. It's called fizzbin. You'll learn it very quickly. 
Yeah, I'm just glad we're not playing strip cards, otherwise I'd be naked in front of all you guys. Or for money. No, such a terrible thing for Flynn. Or for money, for that regard. But uh, regardless, you do play or try and learn this game for the rest of the night. It takes you several many hours before you realize that, hey, they're not playing with makeshift rules there trading messages but by then you have spent several hours already frustrated that you could not learn the game and you decide to abstain for the rest of the night and just go to bed or rather go well, go to the floor because there is no beds to be had yeah well with Grath watching I'd ask if he caught any of that once we're well away from the game yes and they were talking about the wanted posters and perhaps turning us in all right something else to watch for all right but regardless <clears throat> uh, with the evenings dealings done uh, unless there's something anyone else wants to do hentai noctris for the night. I'd just be sitting there playing with a dancing lights cantrip. <laughs> and you do. It's uh... Would you like to sing some karaoke? I get... Upon her saying that, I just send the lights over to dance around her. I think Sephira tries to eat one of the lights. Sephira is definitely confused by the lights. She's not trying to eat it per se, but she seems fixated with it there's not much entertainment going on in here and it's cold and she's just looking around well it was cold until the tiny hut came in but uh yeah Sephira is distracted and in turn you guys are distracted with Sapphira and that's what helps times go by until all of you collapse on the floor and sleep for the night so all of you get the benefits of a long rest wake up uh, when um, with the with the trap door opening to the corner of the room and uh, someone coming out of it uh, apparently a, a pair of humans they come up and say whoa whoa was there a party going on in here tiny hut oh they do see still some people on the floor you can't fit loads of <laughs> Uh, Shura, Lucille, and Kander in the tiny hut, along with all eight of you. Flint shirtless will peek out and like, yo, you missed one hell of a party. And as they look around, confused, Kander shows up and says, Don't worry, these are affiliates of mine. They will, we will be out of your hair soon enough. Then the guy just nods. Uh, Do I recognize these guys at all? Not in the least. Uh, they do seem a little bit... Uh, make a perception check, Draken. Twenty-three. Okay, you do see that they look a little bit frazzled. Uh, seems like they have been traveling through the night to avoid detection. However, it's when it's coldest. Uh, and they're definitely tired. But as they arrive, they, they plop down some bags they were carrying. Uh, amongst these bags, you do see smaller bags. Very, very small and almost unnoticeable. Uh, that they are also throwing in. Seems like they're bringing food and other supplies for these three guys that are playing cards here. Amongst that, they are also seem to be bringing uh, another something for Kander. I whispered a little inside the hut where they can't hear us. Sure. Um, I think there's a drug exchange going on. Watching it, and Kander, okay. Kander stands up and, uh, as they start talking. So, anything to be brought back to Birkendorf? And uh, you just see Kander uh, 
uh, plopping out a, a pouch of coins and each of them. The guy nods and says, well this will make some people there very happy. Uh, well, any news of the city? Anything weird going on here? And Kander just replies, oh, some people have been captured and these individuals here have staged a breakout, attacked their church, killed a bunch of them, almost killed me in the process as well. And uh, the dragon is still loose. But not for long, I don't think. These people here, they seem ready to deal with it to some degree or another. And the other guy just nods and says, Okay. Well, um, we'll be sticking around until it's safe to leave and uh, have a good one. And they, they go down into the tunnel again and to the other side of the wall. And Kander turns over to you all and says, So, are we doing this then? Oh, it's morning? Okay. Yeah, it is morning now. Never you been ready. You got a level head? I will have a level head, yes. Very reassuring. Okay. So what's the plan, plan people? We're gonna scale the side of the fortress, I think. That's going cool. from the roof. That seems like a bold plan. Well, the other two options are fighting our way through. Yeah, really, the only other option is knocking on the front door. Unless we want to go into the library, steal some robes, and look like we're carrying books. How many do you think we can all get through with that disguise? I mean, uh, Noctris was there. He could tell us how many guards are there anyway. Uh, 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 Kender, he just looks at you and says, I don't remember during my time here seeing anyone carry books as such a large volume before. But the Fivnit seems to be approaching and it would make sense for someone to get very desperate looking for books, so... That might work, but... Then then we'd have to walk across the city to it, get outfits, get books. And I mean, uh, Fel already has them. one of their cloaks, and I can disguise myself to have one. You have had that cloaks for 40 episodes now. Yep. Uh, do you need me to disguise myself, too? That's right, we have three people that can disguise self now. I mean, I well, four if we count Briar. We just have to hook some different things up. I like the scale of the wall idea, but this might be smarter. I'm fond of the wall scaling idea from a surveillance perspective. Not if we're talking people. strictly surveillance, apparates a uh, hoodie and scratches his chin. Didn't you all almost freeze into a brick last time? I teleport him back to his home plane or whatever. <laughs> hey, hoodie. I Bye, could. hoodie. He was happy just to go back and stay warm. Fair enough. Again, my history. Always attack from where it's unexpected. Yeah, so I'm a fan of going to the roof, but I'm also a fan of being in disguise, going in the front door and trying to scope some shit out. Well, I find it worth mentioning, as this is relevant perhaps to both plans, that I may have sought to incite a little infighting amongst the Brotherhood. This is true. So, so they, they might be downing each other, meaning going in as them might not be the best idea. Yes, they may be. Unless I'm looking at Hantai. 
one of their own was leading them in. Are you suggesting that Hantai uses suggestion on someone? No, I'm suggesting you pose as Ansys. And, but they know Ansys is missing. Her return would have made a big deal at the gate. She oh, very big. Yeah, Ansys is probably a little too high profile for that sort of plan. True. True, but that would have been a great idea. Yeah, but Hantai does have disguised self. Rather than let's scale the wall. Spells. Let's scale the wall and not use up spell slots. Did you say fell? Yes, I was going to agree with Dracon for once to not use spells as much. I was agreeing with you. Well, yeah, yes. So, scaling the wall more effective tactically, as well as conservatively on the spellcaster. We just have to watch out for a dragon. We have to watch, hmm. watch out for a look at the wall. Also, are we bringing Kander, Loza, uh, Shura with us? Because then we have to figure out how to get them up. Up to you, really. Uh... Well, I know Kander has a climb speed. Okay, so Loza and Shura. Uh, Shura should just look and says, I can bring us there easily enough. That will. I will use a spell, but I can do that. No, no, I, I just mean, is, is she coming with us on this infiltration plan? Because I want yeah. to figure out how to get her up the roof. Uh, I'm not saying we use her to teleport us there. No, she can bring herself and Loza with uh, using a spell. Uh, to get themselves up there because they can't climb for shit. Uh, if you want to bring them along, that's up to you, really. I mean, their extra spell power probably wouldn't hurt. Besides yeah. that, yeah. And Adnes in the keep. And you know Lowe's is going to want to rescue her. Yeah. I would not want to deny him that. Yeah, so I think we're all gonna go. Good idea. Can I whisper to Kander, uh, make sure your friends don't rat us out? Sure. <clears throat> you approach Kander, whisper that to him. Uh, this very short raccoon, he just looks up at you and says, Don't worry, I have learned to better select my professional company ever since I left the guild. Yo, you'll be alright, so long as you... as they don't feel like you're worth being ratted out. So, do good. That seems like what you're up to lately. I am so ready for this. Okay. Let's do it. What are you doing with Lucille? What? Oh, oh yeah, Lucille forgot about her. Oh, hey, could you guys um, babysit? <laughs> yeah, can you guys watch her? If she, if she gets loose, she's going to tell everybody where this hiding spot is. The three we guys could. playing card, they look at one another and say, Well, if she is loose, we will. we're all fucked. We're not definitely not gonna lose her out of sight, but well, there's a lot of liabilities, so we can hold her for a while, feed her a little bit, make sure that you don't leave her forever here, though. What if we knocked her unconscious and then put her somewhere random? Really, we're gonna leave an unconscious person to freeze to death outside? Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> An unconscious person who could be woken up at any point during All right, this. fine, we'll leave him here and do the unconscious thing later, fine. Uh, 
one of the two of the guys they balls freezing cold outside i'm sorry it is uh two of the guys they 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 uh, push her to the corner one of them seems to empty out one of the sacks uh of food putting it on the table and um, puts the the sack over her that's so she's kind of tied up in the corner there's a sack an empty sack of food kind of covering her that so all only her head is poking out and she's bound looking at all of you guys glaring with angering her eyes and just being like mm, mm, mm. You'll thank us it later. smells like beans in this bag you'll thank us later somehow for some reason <laughs> uh, okay so bean squad are you leaving and going to the keep yes uh, i assume i assume we're all ready yes i assume I, we're doing uh, it stealthily as ready as we'll ever um uh, okay. uh, on our way out, though, I'm going to turn to those guys that were playing cards when we're actually about 60, 70 feet away. Use a little side message and tell one of them, we're watching you. <laughs> and I would, this is more of like a preemptive thing. As we're walking to the keep, I want to look and see if the number of guards and brotherhood on the western side seems a bit thinner now. Um... Uh... Not to just make a perception check, but I would like everyone to go ahead and make a stealth check because despite a few vandalized posters, there are posters of you in the city, so I would like everyone to stealth up. That's all you skip notice. Just regular old uh, stealth, sorry. right? We're not going to get any... Uh, or I can pass, pass without a trace. That's what I was asking, yeah. Okay, so Matthias, before everyone goes out, you cast Pass Without a Trace. How many... There's no limit to how many creatures it can affect, right? Um, For duration, each creature you choose within 30 feet of you. Okay, yeah, you can... It doesn't, say, it doesn't have a limit. So, I'm going to roll for Shura and Loza as well. Now, oh, everyone's in the 20s, Jesus. Yeah, my perception Except was also 26. My stealth was in the middle teens. Hey, Matthias got I the same number bad. as me. Matthias got the same number as me. Yeah, we both rolled sevens. Oh boy. Sure. We both rolled sevens. They both equaled fifteen. <laughs> because we both have a stealth of eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Loza rolled a sixteen. Shura rolled a twenty. That brings her to a 30 and him to a 26. Lowest, yeah, me and Lilith are both 25. Yeah, lowest, yeah. Self, lowest stealth of 25. Um, man, pass without a trace is so broken. Uh, <laughs> it's really not. Plus 10 to stealth checks. It's a lot of... <laughs> you can still... Someone rolling at disadvantage can still fail. Yeah. Uh, regardless... It's also... What, a level 2 spell? Level 1 spell? Level 2. Yeah, second level spell slot. So, you guys approach the keep. Um, Noctris, you do notice approaching the keep with your perception check. Uh, people, the, the presence of uh, guards doesn't seem very heavy. Seems about the same as yesterday, if lighter. Probably because it's 7 in the morning ish, the sun is still rising. It's still very cold for most people to want to be outside. You get a sense that that's helping with uh, there being fewer people outside. Okay. Uh, there seems to be less guards about. Alright. That's it. Just wanted to be aware for before going in. All right, should I start running up? Well, let's let's get a little more over to the side. All right, uh, and then try to get up. Basically, perhaps the side that isn't facing the heavy residential area. Yeah, there's two things, however. First. The sun is rising, it's rising from the east, so the whole eastern side is completely currently being illuminated and it's on a hill overlooking the city, so anyone within the city would be able to see this wall very clearly. 
This, this is true. The other side is clo is still in shades because the sunlight is blocking the whole other side. However, there's some houses and some people over there, especially people coming in back and forth from the from the library itself. I think we gotta risk the residential side because we know with the other side we are probably gonna get caught. We're gonna get caught by the wrong people if we're on the other side. So the side in all the bright sunlight. We still have passed without a trace, so maybe we'll do fine. All right. So you're you're we're quick enough. You're climbing the yeah. eastern side then. Yep. Okay. So against against better judgment. Okay. Well, it's either that or we get caught by the people who are carrying, walking around with boxes well, from the archive. Do we have a means to maybe get over through the back mm. that is surrounded by walls? Uh, mm. yeah, climbing, just like you would climb yeah, to the roof. Climb though. over that wall. And then but are they the are they as tall as the um, the fortress walls? Uh, not as tall. They're still pretty tall they're uh some 10 15 feet shorter but they're still very tall at, at okay. least some 40 50 feet. it'll be relatively soon climbing time yeah yeah never mind then i was just thinking we'd have cover from those walls i think we should just try to be quick and stealthy up yes right quick and little. quiet okay so all of you gather around and start Climbing this wall, so uh, I'll go in order. Draken, how are you doing this? I have a climbing speed. Do you? Roving feature. Oh yeah. Like a level one ranger would be unearthed arcana. Dag damn rangers. Uh, do you get that feature at first level though? Yes, I pick one of three features. Hmm. Okay. When you decide to take roving. So you have the best one. You have a climbing speed uh, of 35, is that so? Yes, and I believe so does Graf and Matthias. Okay, uh, so in a, in, a, in a single turn of 6 seconds you can move and dash, quote unquote, and climb all the way up to the, to the very top if you wish to do that. Sh sure, I'm probably going to be the first one up there after a... Uh... Fell and Lilith, who have an insane speed. Okay. So, Drake and you go quickly <clears throat> as you can, climb all the way to the top, uh, doing your best to stick to the to this very small nook here in the very corner, uh, which you believe is a little harder for people to notice you, and you start climbing. Uh, the, the way that the wall is facing is a little harder to notice if someone is climbing there for something protruding out of the wall so to speak out of the keep silhouette uh, as you climb all the way over there you jump over the over the edge and you are now landed on the rooftop make a perception check Drake and Boulder nine god damn it you jump up there Crouch down, look over the edge to see if, over the city to see if anyone noticed you, and you're like, eh, sure, nobody's seen me. <laughs> and you look down to wait for your uh, companions to come by. Uh, who's climbing next? Uh, Fell, how are you climbing and what are you doing? I'm just running up the wall. And carrying nobody? Nope. Okay. So, you have, you were a monk, you have ridiculous speed as well, you just wall run upwards it's a show but it's a very good one and you just go run all the way over vertically up the wall land on the rooftop uh, right beside Draken make a perception check as well Naruto run pretty much yeah uh, Fel as soon as you land on the rooftop <clears throat> over there you do notice uh, you are beside the tower and there's a tower on the on the other side, uh, this one here. Actually, actually, this map is not accurate, but anyway, there's a uh, four towers where you are in the back. They are um, 
uh, none of them have uh, anything weird about them. You do, however, notice in the very middle there's a little bit of a a, a small rooftop of uh, of a angular rooftop instead of being uh, flat like wow. the rest like the rest of the roof. And uh, on the opposite side of the keep, uh, there's two towers in the back. You can see that there's uh, doors that go down the down the stairs, and you do see that there's one guard that seems to be making the round around the rooftop, and he's uh, he's making uh, the his his just making the corner out of sight from over here behind this this rooftop. Okay, uh, Draco, there's a guard that just turned the corner. We don't Shit. have that long. We need another person up here, or you and me need to take him out. Um, I'm gonna have Hootie do something weird. I'm gonna have him just kind of fly by and just harass him using the help action. You go take care of. Him. Okay. <laughs> that gives Phil advantage on anything he's about to do. All right. So you send Hootie over. You conjure up Hootie. Send your owl a flying. Uh, to harass the the person who's just uh, around in the corner and then out of nowhere owl in the face and this guy's like whoa what the fuck is this and he starts waving Don't his deal with him. arms around wildly uh fell what are you doing uh did i i'm assuming i just used all my movement or do i have movement uh i would say you have a whole turn to do something all right i am going to rush this guard and try and grapple him in a way that I can cover his mouth. Sure, make a, make a, an attack roll to grapple him. You have advantage because I have Hootie doing the help action. Yeah. Ooh. Good rolls. So, boy, your athletics is ridiculously high. You gave him a belt. I should have. Uh, so this guy, he is about to turn the corner. Just as it does, you show up behind him, fell unbeknownst to him because of your previous style throw. Just as Hootie shows up in front of him and before the guys go like, whoa, what the? You grab him covering his mouth and drags him behind uh, the rooftop just as you see another guard making the round uh, on the opposite side about to turn the corner and go around you do see him fell but that guy does not seize you as you grab over and bring this guard as uh, as you grapple him um i'm telling the others to hurry up flint what are you doing to climb uh, Hantai is going to cast Fly on me, and I'm wondering if uh, our two Arcanists or uh, Noct Noctris is going to be able to get up somehow. Um, I plan to take Groth up on his rope offer. Alright, what about the two Arcanists? Uh, they have no means of climbing unless if Shura uses Dimension Door. Alright then, uh... You can carry a creature by flying. Yeah, I will do that. I'll carry one of the Arcanists. Which one? Um, whichever one looks lighter. I'm assuming that's Shura. Yeah, she looks lighter. Uh, but then again, Loza is very scrawny. <laughs> he also looks very light. I mean, yeah. I can sure can get up there with thing. Dimension Door. Oh, well, sure can get up there with Dimension Door. I'll grab Loza. Okay, fair enough. You grab Loza, hentai casts fly on you, I suppose? Yep. Okay, so Flint, you start flying at a 30 feet speed, I believe? Fly has a 60 foot speed. Oh, okay, sure. You climb, you, you swoosh up. Very fast, uh, and Hentai starts uh, plopping his tentacles into the wall to climb, as he does. 
uh, fluent as you soar over the sky, carrying Loza over the edge of this keep. You do see uh, Draken over there, kind of crouching by the edge, just looking down to see you coming uh, with Loza and the rest rest of the Bean Squad down there. Uh, you, however, Flint, you do see in the distance Fell just uh, uh, manhandling a guy, covering his mouth and pulling him away. Do I see the other guard? Mm, yes. Well, if I see the other guard making his rounds, uh, I suppose. By the way, because we're I'll flying, just... because we're flying, you are able to see a little better. You'd see that there is only these two guards in the roof. All right. Um. I'll quickly ask Loza if he can do anything about that other guard. Uh, Loza thinks for a second about all the all the spells he could do. Uh, da -da -da -da, he thinks for a second and says, uh, "If if we were closer, I could cast something, but we're too far." Okay, so. Uh, that's a flying speed of 60 feet. Can I dash another flying 60 feet to get closer? Sure. And I will do so. I will get ca I will get close enough for Loza to do a thing. Okay. You do that. Uh, just a second. Come on, Riddenbot. You can play it. I know you can. Uh, you fly over... The country roads? No. <laughs> you fly over closer... Actually, it would have been. Thank you for the thank you for the reminder. Should have should not have been that playlist. Should have been another. Uh, as you fly over closer, uh, Flint carrying Loza in your arms. Uh, as as soon as you are within range, Loza just goes and tries to cast a spell. He mutters an incantation uh, as he pulls out his uh, material components and tries to cast. Hold person. Uh, I'd probably be trying to climb up now. Uh, yes. Uh, I'll get right on to that as soon as I uh, realize what he needs. Wisdom saving throw. This guy's not very wise as it happens. But he rolls a 20. Damn. He rolled a natural 18. Uh, the the guy as he as he's walking, he just stops and goes like, "What the?" He starts to look around and he notices you, Flint, and Loza flying over him. Uh, as Fell is incapacitating a guy, uh, and Draken at this moment you wouldn't you would have seen Flint flying over you. But before I get to that, uh, Lilith, Matthias, Natris, how are you, what are you doing? And Graf as well. Well, it's just running up the same way Fel did. Okay. Grath. And I'm Grath. climbing up like Grath did. And Grath is going to climb up whole, uh, with Noctris tied to him. Uh, Like, actually tied off to you and you're carrying him up? Or you're uh, cli yep. climbing up and throwing a rope? Climbing up and throwing him a rope and then pulling him up. Oh, okay. No, it's like a ba baby Bjorn. Um, so, uh, little if you have very high speed, you are able to climb in a single round. Matthias, what is your speed? Is 35? 35. Alright. Uh, okay, the two of you do climb up, just as you see Flint soaring over the sky, the two of you climb up, Graph as well. Uh, takes you the whole, your, uh, whole movement turn to, to climb up, Graph, because of you, you dash. And then you're throwing a rope down to, uh, Noctris, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, are you tying the rope to something, or are you holding onto the rope yourself? I'll tie the rope onto something, like uh, one of the parapets, and then start pulling them up. Okay, make a, <laughs> a sleight of hand check. Graph. 15. Alright, it might hold a little bit of weight. 
and you 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 throw down the rope, start uh, tying a knot. You somewhat confident that you did, and actress you start climbing, right? Uh, I'm good tie it around myself for kind of uh, extra security and then, yeah, pull myself as much as I can. Uh, Grath will hold the rope as well. Sure, uh, Noctris, make an athletics check. <laughs> Do we at oh, the top see good. the two guards? Um, yeah, I was gonna ask that if I'd gotten <laughs> high enough up to... Because I would, I would like to attempt to grapple the other guard who is, you know, failed his, who succeeded his hold person check in the same way Fowl is grappling the first guard. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da. before we get back to you, Noctris, um, Lilith and Matthias, the two of you make a dexterity check. This is initiative, by the way. But no need to roll for initiative. 17. Uh, natural 20. Natural 20. Okay, the guy rolled a 13. So, the two of you climb up to the rope, to, to the ceiling. Uh, you do see Loza in the, in the sky mutter, muttering some sort of incantation, and the, uh, then Loza seems to curse like shit uh, to someone. Uh, over, over on the other side, you get to see just a little bit of this guy's head poking over this, this slanted roof. And, uh, Matthias, what are you doing? Actually, Draken, um, roll a... I'm going to grapple him and try mm -hmm. to keep him quiet and pin him down. Yes. Uh, Draken, roll initiative as well, just, just, just for kicks. Make a dexterity check. Just dexterity check? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Matthias, the guy is on the other side. You have 14. A, a movement speed of 35, so... Yes. Uh, you wouldn't. Yeah, sure. You have, you have enough reach to get to the guy. Uh, you run over to him, and the guy is he's looking over above him. There's this flying lizard and a wizard, and the guy's like, "What the fuck?" And then he looks down and he sees this this tiger man running over to him, and you try and grapple him. Make an athletics check. Magic lizards. Yeah. Wizard lizard. Fifteen. Diesel weasel. Fifteen. The guy is gonna try and resist that with a athletics check. He rolled an eighteen. I figured that was a terrible roll on my part. Not too bad, but he rolled a little bit better. Uh, the guy, as you rush up to him, you you try to grapple him, and this and this guy just. Being a little bit more attentive, seeing this flying whatever in the sky, he looks at you and manages to parry as you go to reach for him with your arms and he's uh, like, whoa, and he seems to be start to go to reach for his weapon, but he doesn't have enough time before Lilith does what? Can I try to tackle him to the ground? Sure. So he can't get his weapon out? Sure. Uh, same thing. You use your speed, move up to him, make an uh, athletics check. You're trying to grapple. So many grapples going on. 16. He's got to make another check now. He also rolled a 16. What does that mean? <laughs> Nothing. Re-roll re it. Um, yeah, I don't know the rules, so let's just re-roll it. Roll another athletics check. <laughs> no. Oh, have to look at Seventeen. This time around, he rolled a twelve. He rolled a what? A twelve. Ha! I got him. Uh, as you run, uh, as you run over to him, you you go to grapple, but you see that Matthias uh, is sort of blocking your way a little bit, and you can't really do it. So you dodge a little bit to the side and then just as he pulls back from Matthias you you kind of do a you do a sharp turn and tackle this guy falling to the ground the both of you this guy uh, you fall on top of him he falls back into the into, into the ground you just hear the air escaping his lungs as it goes <coughs> and you are on top of him and theoretically you have a second attack I believe 
Is there any way, is there anything in one hit I can knock him like unconscious? Uh, like can I smack his head hard enough that'll just go? Yeah, that's right. Grapple checks are out. only a single act attack, aren't they? Uh, yeah, you wanna you would would have been a one attack action to uh to tackle and another to to grapple because it did knock right. him prone. That's already quite a big thing. So to grapple him would be another athletics check if you want. And uh, Well, I'm not saying grapple. I'm saying is there some way I can just hit his head hard enough he just falls unconscious for the time being in one hit? Like, can I just, like, headbutt him or grab his head and smack it into the roof or something? Make a... Make an athletics check to grapple. Yeah, we'll contest it. I rolled a 16 again. <laughs> he rolled a 13. <laughs> you managed to grapple his head and go to bash it on the floor. Make a strength check. Oh, good. I'm great at those. That's what's funny. Come on, look. I clicked so roll. I clicked roll. If you bash his head in. That's what's funny. I rolled a 10, apparently. Well, that's the DC. Got halfway there. That is the DC for his Constitution saving throw, for which he rolls a 19. It just hurts. Damn it! Uh, you grab his head, bash it on the ground, and he's just like, "Ow!" It hurts like a mother. But the guy is still awake and uh, knocked prone and grappled to a degree. Uh, Too bad I can't smack him more. Knock him out. Lilith has one more bonus action attack. Uh, theoretically, theoretically, Matthias, you do have your uh, your second attack. And... You want to pile in on this? All right, I'm going to try to knock him out as well. Okay. Kick him in the head or something. With advantage because he's prone. Yeah. Yeah. So make an athletics check, Matthias. Straight. Uh, yeah. Uh, advantage. Athletics. See, grapples are <laughs> always a good body. idea. That, that guy is... That guy is fucking asleep now. He's not making it. He's not making it, he just... You... Aside with Lilith, you just go on to him. Uh... Lilith just lets go of the guy's head and holds this guy's arm to hold him in place. You just come in, Matthias, and punt his head. Soccer ball kick, just boom. Yeah. I'm gonna help Graf get Noctis up here as fast as possible. Uh, pretty much, Matthias. Either you punt his head to knock him unconscious or curb stomp him, one or the other. Regardless, the guy's out. Uh, Draken, as you're. Pondering this, you look over to to Fel, who's uh, holding this guy, grappling him, but this guy is struggling, and there's only one of him to hold this Go guy help. down. Go help Fel. Uh, okay. I go over, and uh, I I'm going to help knock him out. Sure. Uh, you and Fel, the two of you make an athletics check uh, to <clears throat> try and knock this guy out. Meanwhile, Noctris, as you're trying to, to climb this rope... Whoa, what was that? Uh, How come when I tried to knock him out, I got straight strength and I could they get athletics? Uh, it was an athletics to grapple and then a strength to try knock out. But because you already okay. already tried it once, uh, Matthias had a, a little bit of uh, leeway. Alright. So this guy here, boy, he is being overwhelmed. Uh, Fell, you are unable to manage to handle him because he rolled an 18. You're just concentrating on getting this, on holding down this guy. Meanwhile, Draken, you are you are able to come in and overpower this guy. So, Draken, make a strength check with advantage to try and knock this guy off. I don't think you have a positive strength score, do you? Oh, you do. Would you look at that? Oh, but it's not gonna help. That's worse than Lilith's. Dang, dude. Let's see what he rolls. 
a 17 he, the both of you try to overpower this guy he is not going down and he uh however uh fell you are holding this guy's mouth he's unable to speak and the two of you holding down this guy he is unable to move at all but he's I'm just gonna keep punching him in the head until he knock until he's knocked out okay he is uh he is conscious but he cannot overpower two of you so while you are dealing with that noctris you you try and make uh you try and pull yourself up no no Grath is going to pull oh. him up on the rope yeah i tied it around myself and Grath is pulling him up so athletics check to pull him up uh yes uh Grath, make an athletics check <clears throat> On my next turn, I'm going to help Grath pull Noctris up. Sure. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Graf, you are able to how, uh, pull Noctris up using your 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 strength. Um, uh, quite good. It is a little bit chilly over here, especially in the early morning. And uh, looking over to your left and to your right, seeing your companions dealing with guards, it kind of makes you a little bit desperate and you try to pull up. Uh, you're not able to pull too fast, though you're going to pull at about uh, 15 feet per turn. So uh, Noctris, poor roll as well, doesn't help. So it, it's going to take a, a while for you to bring him up. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, Matthias, so you're, safe. you're helping, right? Yeah, I was gonna help Graf pull him up. Okay, make an athletics check. Meanwhile, Flint and Loza, what are you doing? <laughs> and Hentai. Um, well, if the guards were taken care of, then there's not much else to do. Woo! I'll just alight down on the ground and put Loza down. Okay, uh, the two of the three of you <clears throat> touch down on the on on, on the rooftop. Uh, just looking around, it seems like the situation has been contained. Matthias, you run over to where Graf is, and now the two of you, uh, almost in tandem, in a very rhythm, uh, synchronized rhythm, the two of you start pulling, and just as one of you release the rope, the other one takes it and pulls it, and the two of you manage to. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, lift up Noctris very fast. And Noctris, as you're trying to hold on to the rope and climb it, stepping up the wall, suddenly you feel a very strong tug and you kind of just fly up the wall very, very fast. As in I'm falling? Flying up the wall because they're pulling oh, okay. you. They're pulling you very, with a lot of strength now. You, you were climbing very slow, like 10 feet, 5, 15 feet, and now you're going up like in jumps it's crazy you just kind of dangle and accept what's happening <laughs> pretty much and within uh 10 seconds at best you are up on the top of the wall and uh with a rope tied around your waist and as some of you look down you see that there's only shura down there looking up kind of just waiting Absent-mindedly. Throw the rope back uh, down to her. Yeah, I'm untying it from myself and okay. letting it go back down. Okay. Uh, I will say, for expediency, that uh, Lilith and Matthias, after knocking this guy out, you went to help Draken and Fell knock the other guy out. And all four of you overpowering this poor, poor, poor guard is enough to knock him unconscious. And uh, Also, we're going to tie him up. Is there somewhere we can put them Do you so have... they're not just going to freeze to death on the roof? Mm, there are... They're wearing clothes. They're fine. There are eight towers in here. Two of them have uh, doors with staircases that lead downward. And uh, the two other towers, they seem to be just uh, part of the decoration. All the other towers. Let's tie them up and leave them just inside one of the towers. Okay. By the staircase, not down enough. Uh, easy enough to do. Uh, do you have rope, by the way? You ha you did use some of your rope to tie down uh, Lucille. I have rope. Grath has rope. Okay. I apparently never got my rope back, because I remember using it for something, but I apparently left it wherever that was. I think you guys uh, tied up Ansa's and they, you delivered her with the rope. 
Probably. Yeah, I think that was my rope. Uh, too bad you guys <laughs> never recovered the rope you used to tie up people. Well, I'll have to grab some uh, once this is all over. You will. And hopefully you guys will not be doing uh, any sort of these missions anyway. Uh, however, uh, you throw down the rope, Ansa sees the rope falling down, and she does not seem to be... Ansa? Sorry. Uh... <laughs> oh, jeez, no. <laughs> Shura. <laughs> she was tied up, we just talked about that. <laughs> Uh, sure, she walks up to the rope and very calmly and slowly puts it around her waist, ties, ties it up and starts climbing the wall. Uh, kind of in a very robotic manner, but she seems to be doing very fine at doing that. So Graf or Matthias uh, roll uh, an athletics with advantage. Do you want to roll Matthias? I mean, you have the stronger athletics. Alright. Because I think you have expertise. I do. No, you. No, you. I insist. No, really. I insist. <laughs> uh, so the plus eleven twenty three. Yeah, that's a good. You uh, graph. You are able to pull sure up very fairly fairly fast with Matthias's help, and she isn't strong really, nor an athletic person. Being an arcanist, but she she climbs up the wall. Uh, not uh, at first walking up, and then when you start pulling her faster, she starts running up the wall. Uh, takes a few a uh, few moments, but you manage to bring her up into the roof, and then all of you hunker down, look over the edge. Apparently, nobody noticed you in this one minute that took for all of you to get into the roof and uh, hunker down. Yay! All, all of you are on the rooftop currently and with very few spells wasted. Congratulations. With uh, two guards tied up, putting two staircases. What are you doing next, uh, Bean Squad? Is there any sort of view from the roof down inside of the Citadel? Mm, not really, no. Then I well, guess it's time we have to go inside. Yeah, we got to go inside. I had expected. What was that fella? I didn't hear you. That went as smooth as expected. It did. What? Pretty smooth. It went smoother than I thought when we found out there were guards up here. I mean, we took out the guards before they could raise an alarm. So we've got at least some time to be still stealthy. Uh, Doug has a question in the chat, by the way. Doug, how's the view? Uh, the view is frigid. The <laughs> as you look over on the horizon is white, pretty much all all around you. The sun is rising, but it doesn't feel warm in the least. Uh, the city, everyone, uh, the the streets are still empty aside from a few guards here and there. Uh, not very, not very li lively. For, for what's supposed to be the capital of the new world. But it's early in the morning and there's still a lot of things that can go down with this very long day that you have. So, there's uh, four towers with staircases leading down. Two in the, f in the north side and two in the south side. Um, before we go down anywhere, I'd like to Vigilant Blessing myself. What does... So I have... I have advantage on the next initiative. Oh, okay. So cast that on yourself. <clears throat> uh, uh, you can do that freely, right? Yeah. Okay. It's just limited to one person. Okay. Uh, good thing you didn't squander it on this initiative roll here on the rooftop to deal with the guards. So there's tower, uh, two towers that with staircases going down in the north, two in the south. Which one are you taking? I say the one on the north. Okay. Uh, the north one is the closest one to the entrance. Can I roll stealth? Okay, uh, if all of you guys are going down the stairs, I would like everyone to re-roll stealth, just because this is a different environment. You're blending Did in. Did we kill the plus 10? 
Yeah, I was about uh, to ask that. Yeah, you do. It's been like, what, 11, 15 minutes since you left the the hideout? You still have passed without Yeah, it lasts for an hour. Oh, yeah. Oh, about 15. I have to roll for it. I... Did it... Every time I seem to roll an advantage, I roll the same thing by accident. <laughs> Stop doing that. It's the same thing. Stop doing that. Is it that quantum roll thing Graf was talking about last time? I'm well, talking about quantum rolls. Flint and Hansi rolled exactly the same thing, plus 10, which I didn't have checked. Whoop. It's possible. Mm. So lowest rolls no, is Loza and Fell with uh, 22. All of you are thoroughly stuffed. As you walk down the North Towers into the castle, which is reversed, by the way, the, the North Towers are in the south because I don't know how to draw. Uh, because directions. Because directions, yeah. So it's yeah, all it's whatever. It's all relative. Yeah, you should be able to see a new map now. You're coming in from the southern side of this map here that I just loaded in. So, Bing Squad, you are lowered into this round tower there's a staircase oh um before i go down i'm gonna dip uh i'm gonna ask uh grath for a bolt and i'm okay. gonna dip two arrows and one bolt into the wyvern poison and hand them to hand one to grath and one to uh matthias First strike, we gotta make it count. Uh, you're giving me a bolt? Or I'm giving arrow? you an arrow, I'm giving Grath a poison bolt. Since he has the crossbow. Yep. Out of curiosity, how high are the ceilings? Uh, in this round tower you guys are going down into, it's uh, uh, not, not very high. It's like 10 feet because it's a round staircase <clears throat> you haven't made inside inside the keep yet uh, into any open areas to be able to see so much for flying on the ceiling who knows maybe it'll, it'll still happen I also completely forgot that Kander existed during this whole stuff in sequence he has a climbing speed he will have climbed up sure he might also be a little <laughs> hung over from his drug so he may not have noticed the whole guard situation who knows so I can't see Nactris's health again. Sorry, I actually I can't even see my health. Oh. Uh, did I? I can see yours though. Did I screw I that up? See... Uh, Nactris, you should be able to see your health now. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Now I got my meters. <clears throat> so, whoa, whoa! You guys are in this staircase. Uh, going down. The way that it works is. You make a complete 360 around it, and there's a door right uh, over there where Fell is, and then it seems to keep going further down. Are you opening this door or you're going further down? Can I, I listen to the door to see if there's anything on the end? Make a perception check with advantage, Fell. You hear conversations coming in from the inside. Uh, you hear some voices, uh, not speaking loudly, but it, but it seems like the environment on the other side of this door is wide and open enough that these that these voices echo quite a lot. And uh, as these voices are speaking, one of them uh, is familiar. It seems to be the voice of Branislav. I'm gonna very quietly turn to the rest of everybody, put my finger to my lips, and say, Branislav is in there. Could Fel make out what they were saying, or just that it was Branislav's voice? Um. 
mostly plannings, it seems. Uh, Branislav saying uh, something about having some artifacts, which is enough for the ritual. There is, however, uh, all they have to do now is wait for the Fivnit to come. And then they can perform the ritual. And they have to make sure that everything is perfect. Okay. And you I hear. know my job. I'm going to rush him as fast as I can. Wait, wait, my... wait. I'm planning this. If I rush him as fast as I can and lock him down, I'm going to trust the rest of you to do the same. We've got your back. <sighs> Drake onto his, uh, his longbow. <sighs> okay. And in case things go south, I'd rather not live with any regrets. I'm going to turn over to Lilith and kiss her flat on the mouth. Oh! All right, now I'm ready. And so, so have you guys seen uh, the movie Serenity? Oh. I have. You know that scene where Kaylee and the doctor admit they love, and then Kaylee goes, "Holy shit, I'm living." That just happened. Okay. And I'm gonna try and go for surprise kick in the door and let's see are we really doing this yes. apparently we are i agree with this plan fell you are kicking open the door and trying to take everything and everyone by surprise right very okay so i mean we're all ready to charge in then i guess all right i G grab the matthias you have poison arrows so one poison arrow each so so, yeah, do make note of those items you have, Draken, if you can, throw those into the, vo into the text chat that everyone can uh, make note of it. Of what? Yeah, I've already Zephyr told them. Strike. Zephyr Strike, okay, you're casting that preemptively on yourself, Graf. Yep. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm pulling out my longbow and I'm prepping. All right. By the way, you guys can preemptively cast something because you have the drop. If there's any spells you wish to cast on yourselves. I, I cast Uber, Insta-Kill, Grab, Death Touch. Alright, uh... So, as you describe your plan of going in fast and strong and fucking shit up... Uh... Loza, he goes up to you and casts Haste on you. <laughs> yes! Bell now has three attempts to grapple! Hoping that, uh. Ah, oh, shit, we don't have a symbol for haste. Oh, fuck it. You have a lightning we bolt. We have a lightning you. bolt. We have a lightning bolt. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. His AC also goes up by two, I think. Oh, shit. Why, why have I done this? <laughs> because you like this plan, Doug. It is. It is it's a good plan. So, Lowe's, uh. Loza is concentrating on haste as he casts it on you. Uh, preemptively. Uh, my Your AC increases by two. Your AC increases by two. Your movement speed doubles. You have advantage on dexterity saving throws. And you can make one extra attack. Move like a hundred feet now. <laughs> is this map even that big? It is. You should be able to, to do quite a lot. So, is everyone ready? To open the door? Yes! Okay. No more preemptive. Ready as will be. Uh, no more preemptive castings then. Uh, Fel, you open up the door and get ready to dash in. And as you open the door, what you see is you have access to these little rafters that goes across the two towers. Uh, it's uh, some 20 feet above the floor. 
looking down uh, into this very big area with uh, several persons. I see a burn now. There's a Pro doggo. That's probably General Clarkin. I see a burn now. You see down there the golden trio that you have seen before a dragonborn, a blue dragonborn paladin, a dwarf paladin as well, and a zwerf nebling, a deep gnome. Uh, uh, well, with. Uh, I thought it was Dragonborn Paladin, Dwarf Paladin, Gnome Barbarian. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't seem to be carrying any heavy weapons. He seems to be carrying uh, rapiers, this deep gnome. Uh, you see also several cultists down there sat uh, between the tables. On the very far back, you see Adnes. And a, and a canine folk that looks just like Onel. If you didn't know him, you would think it is Onel. Oh, would you look at that? Ha ha ha. What? Something didn't load. Should have loaded, but it didn't load. I'll move this. Something else in the room. There's already so many people in the room. No, it's more so, uh, things. Oh, those, okay. If you are watching, Oni, <laughs> please put your beans on your thing. Yeah. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You do see all these people there in this room. And uh, on top of that, in the very far back, in this small round table, you do see Brennislav. And everyone looks incredibly surprised to see this flying wolf running up to wreck some shit up and that's where we're gonna end today's session everyone <laughs> I, mean, oh. I knew it i, I mean this looks it. like a super long combat i wouldn't want to keep going because we could be this here for another true. two or three hours i yeah. also looked yeah. at the time i'm thinking five o'clock's when we end right it's uh it's six in the it's six in the afternoon already it's time we have been playing for four hours guys I wanted to have no regrets in case Fell dies here. Oh, but sorry, I punched the microphone. Uh, Don't punch the microphone. It was my accident. So it's the monk's job. We have a. Uh, uh, hey, uh, what <laughs> type of poison arrow did you? Uh, it's wyvern poison. Guys, with the damage that it does. Uh, I have that. Give me a second. We have a gigantic combat for next session with a. Uh, the Golden Trio, several persons, a friend, Adnis, and Brandislav, the guy, the, the guy I have been chasing for a while now. There we are. Yeah, so, you know, that was, that one's gonna be... Because technically, um... If I use Conjure Barrage on it, it it's that's gonna be interesting. Oh yeah, because it duplicates the ammunition itself and anything off that's attributed to it. And it takes the damage type that's the same as the weapon or ammunition used as a component. Holy shit, I'll have to check up some rules. <laughs> because it says it consumes the ammunition, and this ammunition is poisoned. Yeah, I'll have to read up on this because, boy, that's... Cause that's gonna be some hits, man. <laughs> I mean... You may just outright kill people. Sure, sure. I, I, I guess. We don't even know whose side the Golden Trio is on right now, and Adnis, they might all just be mind-controlled. Uh, oh, there. Uh, oh, there. There comes the measurer to help us with this. Regardless, I'm going for one person. Welp. <laughs> Uh, and I am uh, hasted. Oh my god, Doug, why have you given me this crack? I don't know. I really don't know. I I don't know. You you want the mental picture of someone kicking in a door and then Naruto teleporting behind the bad guy. Pretty much. Uh, this is the advantage of bringing the 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 arcanists with you. They 
have arcane shit on their side. And they can stay up in the rafters safe. Maybe, so long as they can keep concentration. Quote unquote safe. <laughs> yeah, safe, quote unquote. Yeah, quote unquote safe. So, this is it for today, guys. We are going in on a gigantic battle next session. I will, unlike I do normally where I drag you guys back into the world map, I will leave you guys, well, I'll, I'll drag this just to close the stream, but I'll drag you back into the battle map so you can plan for things. Uh, measurements and such. You're going to let us metagame. Just he's gonna hope to speed up combat by allowing us to at least plan the first turn well in advance. Yeah, you you get you get to that. Uh, and uh, come back with any questions you have during this week. That so we can really thoroughly look through all the rules and we have a shit ton of casters still that we have to get through. So. Let's study up all those rules and uh, come back next week for possibly a conclusion of this gigantic quest line that you guys have been in on uh, uh, stopping Brenda's love in the 50th game of Settlers of Nolan. How's I thought we passed 50 a while ago. No, this is 49. Nine. Must die. 50 is a good number for it to be on, you know? Yes, it is. And uh, in a way, I'm glad you guys didn't rush into the castle keep. Epic battle on 50. It's a nice, nice round number, you know? It's... Do you want us to roll initiative ahead of time, Doug? Mm. Just so we're... No, it will, we'll, leave, we'll save that luck for next time around. Because then... Uh... It does say that technically the poison doesn't count, but someone's commenting on it the fact that you know considering this would be a clever use of the spell that you know that they might allow they would allow it in their session I will... so it's not rule of written but it might be rule of cool yeah I will look into that see how the, the things are worded and see how we should play this out because that can just wreck their shit in the first turn depending on how well or badly you guys roll initiative so we will see how that goes but in any case Thank you guys so very much for st stopping by and playing with me. Well, Phil, at least at least Phil should have a surprise round. Uh, yeah, well, guys will have a surprise okay. round. Uh, but yeah, we will see those things next week. Don't forget all the things, all the bonuses you have for when combat starts next week. Thank you guys so very much for uh, taking the time of the day to play with me. Another session of D and D, Settlers of Nolan. Hope you guys enjoyed the session. And I'm already I, reading this spell. It was your last. You need to watch me die instantaneously tomorrow. It's either going to be awesome or it's going to suck completely. And by tomorrow, I mean Saturday. Yeah. You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to die. Yeah, you just kiss Liv. You have to do more things to her later. You must make. Yeah. Uh, we will see how that goes. But in, uh, anyway. Stay safe, stay healthy, you guys, and uh, I'll be seeing you guys next week. Bye, right. everyone. And to, and to our Bye. lovely to our lovely friends over there on Twitch, thank you for joining uh, this stream, this game. You can go back to my YouTube channel, check up the replays of previous episodes. You can also check the wiki to see all the crazy shenanigans we get to uh, in a, uh, a Bridget format. And other than that, all of you true over there on Twitch, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, have a great weekend, and see you next week. Bye-bye, everyone.